This video is also for educational and entertainment purposes and all content used within is protected by fair use. Hello internet and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex, otherwise known as that little elf that sits on the shelf. I thought I was really clever in rhyming that, but that's already literally a thing. Yes, you would be correct. It is that time of year again where we have a Marvel TV show finale. This time it's set during Christmas. So I'm wearing the only thing Christmassy that I think I did a good job on. A white shirt. And a bloody Santa hat and a beard. Ready? That was the equivalent of like that scary maze game pop up, I reckon. <laughs> so what we're going to be watching today is Hawkeye episode six, which is the finale episode. It's the shortest out of all the Marvel TV shows, maybe because they didn't have enough content on the guy. <laughs> I mean, you can't really have like Clint facing off against a multiversal threat, can you? It's just not that type of dude's villain. What I'm hoping for in this episode is we find out more about the fucking goddamn watch that was so important the first couple episodes. And we get some, some good kingpin scenes. That's what I'm hoping for. I can't wait to see what he does further down the line. And then on top of that, I hope that my two wives can figure out why they've been fighting so much and, you know, come to some sort of agreement. If we could try and sort that out as soon as possible, then I won't have such a rough Christmas. Oh, fuck, we're starting with him straight away? He takes up the entire screen, I swear! Mr. Fisk. Oh, he about to clap your shit if you fuck him over. What can I help you with, Eleanor? We've had a good relationship, haven't we, Wilson? I mean, you can't really have a bad relationship with Wilson Fisk, otherwise you won't be alive. <laughs> Which is why I'm a little confused where you're headed with this. Oh, the eye twitch. My daughter is home now. And that's where I draw the line. That's your fault for being a bad mum, you idiot. I have been keeping an insurance policy. Eleanor. Copies of everything. In the spirit of the holidays, I'm going to give you a minute to think about what you're starting right now. I don't need a minute. Kind of girl boss move for her to say this to Wilson Fisk, but then also fucking idiot move because he's just going to fuck her up. Elena, apparently my mom is the one who hired her to kill you. Mum of the Year award goes to Eleanor. <laughs> Woohoo! You should go home. You should be with your family. You can still make it in time for Christmas. Kate, you're my partner. Aww, he called her his partner. Also, yeah, this dude needs to make it home for Christmas. Otherwise, he's getting divorced for a present. I've seen you at the end of some tough matches. Do you want to tell me what's been going on? I uh, actually just found out that you killed my dad. So, just wondering why you did that? You know what my father meant to me. To all of us. Okay, buddy. I don't like this guy. I reckon he would smell in real life. I love you. Nah, I would have hit him with one of these in sign language. But then I'd probably get my neck broken. She's turned on us. Yeah. What will we do about it? Dude, you can't kill your nephew. You can't do that. You can't kill Maya. But the city belongs to me. There's the kingpin. There he is. There's the menacing little bugger. Or oh, big bugger, sorry. Really sorry how this is all turning out for you. I can't think about it right now. We gotta focus on tonight. Oh, that's right. It's our date night, Haley. I forgot. Like a whole batch of way too dangerous trick arrows. You can make more. Of course he can make more of them. <laughs> Otherwise, what's the point in his character shooting arrows? He would have ran out six movies ago. Oh god, you wouldn't want to get that arrow up your butthole. That's pretty smart to put tags on the arrows so you know what they are. So this, uh, this holiday party tonight. Yeah, formal. Watch as she wears like her boss mode suit again that she wore in like, I think it was like episode two. When I was younger, aliens invaded. It's like, I know, I fought them. But then I saw you fighting aliens with a stick and a string. See, that's what Hawkeye's about. I like that aspect of it. He's just a simple dude and he's able to inspire people that are just simple people. Being a hero isn't just for people who can fly or shoot lasers out of their hands. It's for anyone. That. I love that. Thank God she didn't see Hulk and go, I want to do that when I'm older. Good luck turning green. I'm in position. If the Bishop woman escapes, be ready. Oh shit, we're going to hitman Eleanor. 
Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Oh, god damn, she looks so good. What are our assets? What are our threats? Hmm. Threats? That guy. Me? What? Wow, Jack's out of jail already. Maybe it's his way of proving that he really is innocent? Nah, watch as Jack ends up like sword fighting someone at the end. It's a weird flex, but sure. I never thought I would ever hear Hawkeye say something like weird flex, but okay. Take this. Stay on comms, okay? I swear to God, if they hurt Kate Bishop in any way, or like kill her, I'm quitting YouTube altogether. I'm never doing it. Hello! Oh my God, my two wives at the same party. This is going to be a disaster. Would have been awkward if like Eleanor got gastro and didn't attend her own party. <laughs> I'm saving your life. Your business partner wants you dead. What are you talking about? Which is why I'm a little confused. Uh, I'm talking about this, mum. Oh, that's a meme. Um, yeah, this one. How could you do this? You don't understand. Surprise, surprise. Hey, yeah, um, get away from the windows. Wait in the window. Wait in the window. Did no one get hit by a bullet then going through the window and missing Clint? What the hell was that? Shots fired. We're working on getting these people out of here. Is that J. Jonah Jameson? You're the reason it's dangerous out there, Moth. Say it again, but louder. It's your time. Told ya. <laughs> He's so gonna fight someone with the sword. There's no way they would show us his incredible fighting skills in like the first episode and then be like, oh, he, d he doesn't know how to fight. He won't fight anyone. So I know you're chummy with my mom, but I gotta say, I didn't think you'd make the cut for the Christmas party. Kate Bishop. I'm just going to kill Barton, have some appetizers, and then we'll go. No, no, Kate, stay. Ah. <laughs> Very Kate Bishop. No. She's a Black Widow assassin. You think her slap's gonna hurt? I've had a few of them in my time. From Yelena. <laughs> oh! What was that? I don't know. That was a bit mean! No, no, no. Oh my god, what is happening? Uh, very nice. Did you plan that? Yes. No, no. I love these two together. Come on, that is so annoying. What are you, Buddy the Elf? <laughs> That's what he does. He... <laughs> Do you guys have to fight again? I'm having conflict of interest in my brain. Oh, fuck that. My soul stopped for a second. Then I thought the arrow was coming at me. Oh, <laughs> I know for a fact that guy's making like a Twitter post or a Facebook status afterwards saying, Yo! This- you won't believe this is crazy! That really hurts! Yeah. Yeah, it was sort of the kick to the ribs. Oh, ah, yeah. that was a good one. Mm -hmm. That was good form. <laughs> Yelena's the best! I swear, man, she's the best! Stop making me like you. I'm sorry, I can't help it. True. <laughs> Fuck that, I would somehow trip and fall out the window and die. Oh shit! Would have been awkward if that actually worked and that's how the show ended. <laughs> Kate, don't do it. Oh my god. If Kate fucks this up, she's gonna meet her fate. Oh, I hate that. I hate it. That's- oh, come on. That is a broken ankle. You know, she's going on about how you don't need to be a superhero to do these things. She's a normal girl. That is a broken ankle. Or it's twisted at least. I know it's probably what? not the best moment right now, but I want to thank you, you know? Did it work? It worked, bro. We went to Maroon 5 instead. <laughs> this dude's the best, like, bro guy ever. I got you now, bro. There he is, there's Zoro himself. I am so sorry my mom got you put in jail. Yeah, I'm sorry for calling you a dickhead, man. I've... <laughs> my bad. <clears throat> this guy sucks, man. Can we throw him out the window or something? You don't need to try and make every single character interesting in a show. Alright, they're trying too hard with this dude. <sighs> and then the guy gets bodied like that so quickly, what's the point? Oh. 
Oh, imagine, Clint, if you were two meters further in front, you would have killed that owl. You would have squashed it in the tree. Here. Where is here, Clint? In the tree. What tree? The big fucking tree. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Ah, oh, just celebrating Christmas, you know? What about that guy? He doesn't seem to... Take that. He's on our side, but we should probably get him out of here, too. <laughs> He's loving life. These people are terrible at following direction. I think it's time. Oh, come on. Don't, don't do this. Ow! Ow! See, I reckon getting shot in, like, the body with an arrow would be way more painful than being shot with a bullet. Has anyone... Can anyone confirm? Oh, come on! They look like they come straight out of Assassin's Creed. Yeah, guys, uh, wrong show. You actually weren't on the Viking set about two over. I need you to hang on tight. Yeah, you think? I'm gonna get you out of that tree. Kate, you can't pull that tree down. Not that tree. Oh, no! Kate, what just happened? Surely that could have hurt him more, falling sideways off the tree, if he didn't have good balance. Also, is that some sort of, like, terrorist act that Kate just did? Surely. Kate needs to be arrested for acts of terrorism. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Hold him off for a bit. Oh my god, you wore it! Yeah, yeah. Okay, not the best suit reveal, but... You know, when you see Falcon's new suit being Captain America, or you see Wanda's new suit, when you see a dude wearing purple sort of spandex, it's, it's not that exciting. Oh! Yeah, ice job. <laughs> see, I said this in one of my earlier videos, this is exactly what Hawkeye should have been. Weird, quirky arrows. I know someone said he uses USB arrows and that, but that's not arrows like this. A USB arrow is not a trick arrow. That is an accessory for your computer. There's our trailer shot. What the? Was that a whoopee cushion arrow? Yeah, that's a terrorist act. Fucking Hot Wheels car! Please have them get out of the truck and like run around as small people. Oh no. Oh, what is that? Fuck off, man! Jesus! Oh, yeah. Okay. This guy. Sure. Oh no. Before I kill you, I need to ask you one question. I need to know what happened. Did mm. your sister sacrifice herself? You're lying. She's either in denial or won't accept it, which is the same thing, I think. <laughs> because from what I remember at the end of Black Widow, the movie, she went to sacrifice herself too. I can't really remember that movie too well. It wasn't, wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah, hello. There he is. Kingpin's got the drip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, I love you, Kate, but you are no match for Kingpin, really. Ah! Oh man, I fucking swear to God, I'm gonna go up to the riders if they've just killed him by having him hit by a car. Sorry, dude, that you have to die, but I just don't care enough about your character. You're in, like, five scenes. I was gonna say, you cannot kill the kingpin like that. That would be like having a brick hit your car. It won't do anything. Oh, that's just gonna piss him off. Nobody killed her. She made a choice. Nobody killed her. She killed herself. <laughs> she sacrificed herself. You understand? No. She has to be in denial because Yelena would have known what Nat was like. Mind your own business! I don't even think Kate realizes that Kingpin isn't even trying with her. But she was better than me. You should have fought harder. Yeah, we're not gonna kill Hawkeye. Especially Yelena's not gonna do it. 
you know, we're not going to kill every other main Avenger in a movie and then reduce Hawkeye to a death in a TV show. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, something tells me he's still not dead. You've just mildly inconvenienced the guy. We're gonna put all this behind us, you'll see. Fuck that, I would send my mum to prison. This was just an unfortunate arrangement. An unfortunate arrangement?! Hiring an assassin to kill Clint, framing your own fiance. Yeah, exactly! An unfortunate incident. That's not what she said, but pretty much. You may not have known what was going on, but I did it for you. Oh, fuck off, Eleanor, you big dingus. You're under arrest for the murder of Armand Duquesne III. Turn around, please. Is this what heroes do? Yeah, they do. <laughs> arrest their mothers on Christmas. Yeah, they do. See ya. I love you, Mom. Kate, if you need somewhere to stay, hit me up. Oh, it's Natasha's whistle. How do you know that? Yeah, well, she's not gonna kill him now. She talked about you all the time, Elena. She did? Oh, now I'm getting sad. You told me about how you got separated as kids. Bro, no joke. The Black Widow movie was pretty trash, but that opening, like, sequence with the credits and the song actually made me cry in the cinema. That shit was rough to watch. You got so much time with her. Yes, I did. If I was there, I could have stopped it. I could have. No, you couldn't have. No one would have been able to stop her. You know Natasha. Exactly. She knew Natasha. So why would she think Clint willingly killed her? That's a flaw for me. That doesn't make sense at all. I love her so much. If she was just a friend to Natasha, yeah, sure. But they literally grew up together. Me too. This is going to be hella awkward if <laughs> she shoots him now. <laughs> she just stabs him. He's not here. He no clipped through the floor. <laughs> oh no, don't do this. Don't do this. What a surprise. <sighs> I fucking swear to God. You and I. We're family. Sometimes family doesn't see eye to eye. Fuck off! Fuck off! No way! Fuck, no what? Fuck you, fuck you. No way they brought him in and just fucking pegged him off screen. I swear to God, if that character is dead, I'm fucking suing Marvel for, for trauma and getting my hopes up, which I don't think is a valid offense. Oh, now I'm just pissed off. Now that just end the show, I'm done. Every once in a while, you come across somebody that just makes you better. And that person wasn't you, Kate. It was my wife. <laughs> you took on Kingpin all by yourself. Not many people walk away from something like that. I feel like Kingpin was going easy mode on her. I don't think he was fully trying to hurt her. I definitely think that Kingpin was holding back his punches. Like the dude straight up crushed someone's head in a car door in the like Daredevil show. I think he was going easy. Ah, he made it back on Christmas. Dude, imagine how awkward that would have been if he didn't or he made it back Christmas night and he missed all his kids opening their presents and everything. We all know like Christmas night, no one wants to talk because they're stuffed from lunch. And they're buggered and they just want to lay down on the couch. So what the hell happened to Kate? Yep, Are you there sure she is. Okay? Shame it's not my front door, but whatever. Oh, so cute. What's That's lucky. Ah, <laughs> lucky. Lucky the pizza dog. <laughs> now Hawkeye's daughter has another girl in the house to gossip with about boys at school. You're never going to guess what was found in a black market auction in New York City. Thank you was her watch she was a she was a shield agent i'm gonna be honest that has disappointed me i thought there would be a bigger payoff than that hey dude pretty terrible idea to burn leather on your fucking barbecue your sausages and hamburgers are never gonna taste the same you may as well buy a new barbecue what do you think of lady hawk nope hawk eve nope hawk shot nope you know hawk Nope. Lady Arrow? Nope. You know what, actually I have an idea. 
<laughs> yes. I like that. Uh, there's never been a post credit scene before, so is there one for this show? Oh, Jesus. It's a musical. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's the musical. Okay, there's going to be someone in the crowd watching. At the end, I reckon it's going to like pan and it's going to show... Oh, dude, imagine if it's like old Steve or something watching. That would be incredible. Or it's like Peter Parker because of the No Way Home escapades. I can do this all day. They're showing too many crowd shots. There's going to be someone in there at the very end. I love that Tony Stark is the one that looks most like Robert Downey Jr. It actually looks like the guy. I know for a fact though, if they got Robert Downey Jr. on this musical, they would have had no budget for the rest of the cast. They wouldn't have even been able to do a Hawkeye show. All the money would have gone to Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Who's watching? Are you fucking kidding me? That has really pissed me off. That may be one of the worst post credit scenes ever. You could have put a cameo in there, man. You could have ended the show in a cameo and it wouldn't have taken away from any of the rest of the episode. You could have had old man Steve sitting there watching the first Avengers battle and it wouldn't have taken away from the end of the episode at all. Or the rest of it. I've already seen Shang-Chi, I'm annoyed. Alright, so that was episode 6 of Hawkeye, the finale episode. I'm gonna be honest, didn't really feel like it stuck the landing all that well. I just took a couple of minutes then to have a think about it, and personally for me, I think that's the worst Disney Plus series ending finale episode. Don't get me wrong, it was still enjoyable, still had its enjoyable moments, but I feel like it didn't compare to the other ones. You had Loki with the multiverse shenanigans, Falcon and the Winter Soldier with the whole political shield being passed over thing. You had WandaVision with the fucking magical battles in the sky. Uh, what if, when all the Guardians of the Multiverse come together to fight like Ultron that's this big bad man? And then you have Hawkeye where they all just fight at a ski rink. You sort of see where I'm going with that. I'm not discrediting the show at all though. I know people hear someone say something bad about something and then they think that person thinks the entire thing is bad, which isn't the case at all. I like this show a lot. I really like that it was street level and everything, but the finale feel feels a little lackluster to me personally. I don't know what the next Marvel TV show is. I know next year we have Moon Knight and She-Hulk and a bunch of others. I will be covering them on this channel for sure. I'll cover all the Disney Plus uh, Marvel TV shows that they do. So if you enjoyed this series or you enjoyed my other Marvel series, uh, please subscribe. Make sure you leave a like, a big like or a little like, depending on your thumb size. That's where I'm going to leave the video for today. I hope you all have a really good Christmas. I have a movie commentary probably coming up in 24 hours time. But until then, I'll see you all when I see you. I hope you don't get coal in your sack. That Santa sack, like the present thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I nearly said happy birthday.